Hey guys, what's up? Nick here once again, and today we're going to be taking a look at the lost endings from Twisted Metal 1 and ranking them from worst to best. So let's get right into it. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys, this is probably going to be the most difficult list that I will ever do on this channel. And as you know, I have done quite a lot of these lists so far of ranking everything from worst to best. I've even taken the liberty of doing a two hour long video ranking all of these special weapons from every single Twisted Metal. So, yeah, the fact that this is actually tougher to choose from with a much smaller list really says something. The reason I say that is because all of these endings are just pure bliss. I cannot stress it enough how much I love every single one of these for their own reasons. It is a real shame these never got to see the light of day until years after the game's release, and I'm still hoping that one day we might have a mod come out where somebody can add these into the game. I really feel like it would add a whole new dimension to Twisted Metal 1 and make me want to come back and do full playthroughs again. Because if you didn't know, these were scrapped from the original Twisted Metal essentially for being too racy, too bloody, too sexist, you name it, and essentially Sony just said nah. So at the last minute they cut them out of the game and they ended up replacing them with text based endings. And some of the endings were even completely changed from the video counterparts. So with my list, I'm not going to take into account any of the actual canon endings that are shown in the finished product. These are only going to be ranked based on the endings themselves in these movies. My other criteria for this ranking is a little bit easier to understand from my previous ranking video on the special weapons in the entire series. With this criteria, we're looking at the creativeness. Basically, just how creative is the idea? Does it make sense? And is it fun? Is the ending the work of a comedy genius, or is it honestly just kind of cringe? And for the last part of the criteria is the writing. Does the writing make sense? Is it understandable to the audience? And is it more smart than it is cheesy? So with that, let's get into the rankings. Starting out at number 12, we have Crimson Fury. This one is pretty much the cream of the crop known as the worst one out of the bunch. It's kind of sad because I think the only reason this one is labeled from most people's list as the worst one is because they didn't really have an actor for this one. There's no visual of an actor. There's no vehicle. They don't even show it. They, they couldn't even rent a Lambo for this, which is just it really goes to show their budget for these videos. And I'm not trying to say that the budget is really a detriment to these. If anything, it makes them even better. But for this one, it really does hurt the video overall. It's just really sad we don't have an actual actor with even trying to do some lame British accent or something like that, which he really should have done. Instead, it's just a black box that we listen to essentially of like a plane crash going down by aliens. So it's kind of an interesting concept in theory, but in the actual execution, it just ends up being extremely boring. We do get a little bit of a cameo from David Jaffe's voice, which is kind of cool, but all around pretty lame. So that's why I think it's a fair place to put it at the last of the list. And at number 11, we have Outlaw. Now, this one's kind of funny. And again, I'm not ranking this based off the final product of the game, but I just wanted to say that this is probably the only one out of all of these endings that I think they actually did better just having it as text. What I mean by that is just reading this in text, it seems a lot creepier and more messed up than it actually is in the execution of the video. So essentially, Outlaw is, is a police officer. He wants to put an end to the contest, but Calypso outsmarts him and essentially sends him into space. We don't actually see that or get to know what really happens until Twisted Metal 2 comes around. So what they actually show you in this video is just a black screen and then he screams, he freaks out. But we as the player would have no idea what just happened. So in the final part of the game with the text scroll, we actually get to know that he does get sent into space and they even have a cool little animation of his car flipping through the stars, which just looks really cool. So it's just kind of funny that the video is actually lamer than the scrolling text version. So I don't know. That's why I feel like the overall concept is pretty decent. But again, the execution was just very lame. So Outlaw is at number 11. And at number 10 here, we have Roadkill. Now this one, the reason this one's so high up on the list is not necessarily because it's lame or it's necessarily bad. It's more the fact that it's literally the exact same ending of Outlaws from Twist Metal Black just done worse. And I know it's kind of unfair because I know this was made years and years before Twisted Metal Black was even a thing, but they just did it so much better in TM Black that coming back to this just feels like, eh, I don't know, it's just very bad acting and 
the set pieces are really lame and the whole overall concept is just it's you see it coming from a mile away his whole wish is to go back in time and to stop his platoon from getting killed in the war and obviously he goes back in time and he still fails he's he gets killed himself even uh which is like a haha you're an idiot why did you choose that wish kind of thing when obviously he could have just wished for his platoon to, to never die in the first place but instead he just wanted to be the hero so yeah that's roadkill's ending and i think number 10 is a fine place for it and coming in at number nine we have pit viper now this one is kind of on the boring side it's a little bit funny because essentially pit viper comes in just wanting money but it turns out it was a ploy for her to get close enough to Calypso and tries to kill him by like ramming the floor of her car to shoot the guns on her car, which just feels very like counterintuitive. I just imagine her doing this while driving it in the middle of the battlefield. But anyway, so she tries shooting him. He dives out of the way, survives and somehow teleports next to her with a gun to her head. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. But that being said, he outplays her and she dies he shoots her in the head and she gets killed whoop de doo da that that's pretty much it so that's why i feel like this one's fine at at number nine i kind of find it funny that some other youtubers out there labeled this one as misogynistic or just kind of gross and they felt uncomfortable with this one i don't see that in any way shape or form i don't know call me blind call me what you will i just think it's kind of boring so number nine it is and coming in at number eight we have warthog's ending now, this one to me was a little bit on the boring side until the very, very end. And that's why I put it a little bit higher than Pit Vipers. Now, it's essentially the same story as Crimson Furies. But instead of being successful, actually getting this black box that essentially admits that aliens are real. He's trying to hide it for the government. He's, he's a ploy coming in there, hired by the government to get this box and to make sure it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. But... For some reason at this one, and I don't know why with Crimson Fury, he got the box and left successfully. But for some weird reason, Calypso just straight up says you're in danger, like or hints that he's in danger. And he looks to the right and we see that down this red hallway of nothingness. Like you literally cannot tell what you're looking at because it's so pixelated and cruddy. Uh, but whatever it is, it scares the bejesus out of him. And the acting is just absolutely hilarious. And he just gets out of there. He just leaves. So Warthog essentially went through the whole contest for nothing. Jesus. Jesus. No! Get the hell out of here! What? This one comes at number seven just because of how hilarious it is. The writing, the acting, everything is absolutely horrible. I'm not gonna lie. Like, it's really cringe with how bad the acting is, especially from the dude that's tied up. Essentially, the driver of Thumper comes to Calypso wanting this man uh, so he can get to him and kill him for revenge. Uh, essentially, he was like a hire man for hits or something, and he didn't get the right payments, whatever the case may be. And he's got the shotgun to his face. He's ready to kill him. And then Thumper just has a change of heart. And he's like, you know what? Don't ever cross me again. Which, again, is like you went through the whole contest and kill all these people to get to this one guy for revenge, and then you don't even do anything about it it's just it's like why <laughs> why'd you waste your time and then the ending is just absolute gold meme material calypso gets angry because nothing happens he says that was anticlimactic he takes out a gun and finishes the job himself and we get the iconic oh my god i'm sorry about the girl man you don't have to do this cross me again it's over Thank you, man. Thank you. Thanks. That was anticlimactic. Oh my god. And coming in at number six, I know this one's gonna be controversial. I'm probably gonna get a lot of thumb downs for this one and a lot of people angry, but hey, it's my list. It is what it is. Sweet Tooth. The reason this one is not lower on the list, or you know, like higher ranked, so to speak, is because I just personally find it more cringe than funny and cool I guess it, it it is iconic you can't deny that it's an iconic performance I think the guy who plays Sweet Tooth gave it his all I have to give him credit where credit is due but the writing is so bad and pathetic and it really is a head scratcher it makes absolutely no sense yes we do get to see Harold for the first time and really the only time until the TV show and Harold's amazing of course but 
I don't like the ending of this one at all, where the woman gets out of her restraints randomly, grabs a gun, and then just puts Sweet Tooth in his place and says she's going to steal the car and get the hell out of there. It's kind of funny, I guess, but it just is very out of place. And I feel like Sweet Tooth probably would have just killed her. Like, he wouldn't have allowed that to even happen. From the Sweet Tooth that I know and love, anyway. So, that's why, personally, for me, this one is at number six. Coming in at number five, we have Spectre. This one might be kind of also surprising, because a lot of people seem to not like this one at all. They seem to think it's kind of lame. For me, personally, I don't really find it lame. I actually feel like this one is really just hits you out of nowhere, because it's really out of character for Calypso. Now, don't get me wrong, Clipso is evil. Like, he's done some messed up things, but he's never necessarily deliberately taken someone's wish away, even if the wor wish worked. So, for instance, if they wish for something just like money, and he gave them a hundred bucks or, you know, whatever, like, he wouldn't just rip the hundred bucks away from them and laugh at them. Like, he wouldn't be that sadistic, but you know what he does. Like, he, he tries to twist your words on you. In this instance, he's a ghost, which you know whatever it doesn't make much sense anyway but he's a ghost and his wish is to be alive again so he gets this elixir he drinks it he becomes alive and then immediately Clipso shoots and kills him again <laughs> just taking away his life again and his wish away and it's just it's very sadistic it really shows Clipso's evil side but I think it's a little bit too far like it's just a little bit too evil it, there's no comedic side to it it's just straight up damn like wow and that's why this one's higher in the list, just because of how much it emotionally affected me the first time I saw this. And I felt bad, legitimately, I felt bad for Spectre's character. So, number five it is. Coming in at number four, we have Mr. Grimm. Now this one, I think, is mostly iconic because of the reveal of the arm. I know it's extremely cheesy, and it's always just burned in my memory forever of just how funny it looks when it it just hands up, and he's like, you are my prize, and it obviously looks like a dollar store skeleton arm with a glove on it, but I don't care, man. It, it shows an actual reveal that he is indeed the Grim Reaper. He's a legit skeleton. He's not a fake. He's not some cringy, try-hard emo boy trying to be cool. It's actually the Grim Reaper. And I think that reveal is cool, and he actually does capture Calypso and drives off with him, which looks hilarious, but is also badass. So, yeah, Mr. Grimm, number four. No! Ah! Now we're getting down to the wire. Coming in at number three, we have Darkseid, a.k.a. Mr. Ash. This was very tough. I'm not going to lie. I wanted this one a little bit higher, even on the list. It even was my number one for a little bit, but I did some more thinking and switched some stuff around. But this one is still amazing. I absolutely love everything about this one. There's almost no negatives. I mean, even the effects are pretty well done for the budget they, that they had. The only thing that's really just silly is what black looks like. I mean, I cannot tell for the life of me what it's supposed to be. But in some light, it's also creepy. It's kind of just unsettling, I guess is the best way to describe it. And maybe that's what they were going for. But I absolutely love Calypso's delivery here of him screaming no to the fact that he's being essentially sucked back into this Folgers can or whatever that's supposed to be. And it's just it's just iconic, man. It's absolutely hilarious. It's an amazing display of, I don't know, just cringe, but at the same time, just iconic beauty. I can't explain it more. And also, Ash is just a badass character. I really hope we get to see him again one day. No! Black! Where are you going? No! <laughs> what are you doing with Black? Ah! No! Coming in at number two, you guys guessed it. Sounds good to me, baby. This one is at number two for obvious reasons. It's probably the most iconic line out of all of these videos combined. I think I hear this one quoted by every single Twist Metal fan that I know, and for good reason. It's just, it's so out of place, it's so hilarious, and the actor is perfect for this role. I think the idea is also pretty cool. You know, he comes into the contest wanting to live forever, basically. He wants to be young again, and he drinks this magic el elixir. He thinks it tastes kind of funny, and then he makes the most hilarious gut curdling scream you've ever heard in your life oh that's strange it tastes like ah! and then out of nowhere he just pops up with that iconic line and every time it makes me laugh 
I just, you can't beat it, man. It's so good. So yeah, Yellow Jacket is at number two. Oh man, number one. What is my number one pick? Well, you probably know by now, but it's Hammerhead. This one is hard, man. I, I again, I kind of went back and forth with my top three. I just kept switching them around. Any one of these could be my top one, to be honest with you. There's really not one I like over the other, but I really feel that Hammerhead nails everything that it set out to do. I understand that some people can look at this one and look at it as kind of sexist and, you know, it's just about the women looking scantily clad and looking hot or whatever. And I, I understand that, but that's obviously the point. These characters are just two losers. Like they're, you know, they're that stereotypical stoner couple of friends, right? They're not, you know, they're not like a love couple, but they're a couple of bros that always hang out and they just talk about girls and they talk about weed and drinking and, you know, it's it's just the most obvious and most accurate wish that these guys could ever ask for and they just play it so perfectly they look the part they sound the part it's just the most funniest iconic moment when they say that they want babes as their wish we want babes yeah. Stop. <laughs> Let's go, man. Let's go now. This is so cool. So, yeah. You can't beat this ending. That's why I think it is the number one ending out of the lost endings. I don't know how many more times I can say the word ending. But with that being said, I really want to hear your guys' list in the comment section below. I want to hear what is your worst to best of the iconic Twisted Metal lost endings. But before you do, let's get to our community pick. And what is the community pick, you may ask? Well, if you are part of the Twisted Metal Federation Discord, which if you're not, there'll be a link in the description below. Highly recommend you check it out if you are a fan of the Twisted Metal series. And anyone that was a part of the Discord in the past 24 hours, they were given the task to give me their rankings from worst to best of their favorite lost endings. And I tallied up the top three out of everyone's votes. Thank you, by the way, for everybody who did vote in the Discord. And it actually was pretty surprising to me uh, what the winner is and what became the top three. So Hammerhead didn't even make it on the top three. I was kind of bummed about this. There was definitely some people who love Hammerhead and put it as their number ones. I'm with you. But the top three, starting at number three for the community pick, is Sweet Tooth. This one actually did not surprise me. I know I ranked it pretty low on my ranking, but... I can understand 100% why people like this one a lot, and that's why it was the number three for the community pick. Number two, no surprise here as well, Dark Side. I think a lot of people said the same thing as pretty much what I brought up, is just the effects are great, the screaming no from Calypso is iconic, and Mr. Ash is badass. And then at the number one, probably no surprise here as well, Yellow Jacket. Sounds good to me, baby. So that is the community picks, all from you guys. None of that's faked. I didn't come up with those numbers on top of my head. Those straight up just tallied from you guys. And Yellow Jacket is your number one pick from the community. Again, thank you for everybody who voted. And if you want to be a part of the next community vote for videos like this, make sure to join the Twist Metal Federation Discord today. So yeah, that essentially is my ranking from worst to best of all of the Twisted Metal Lost endings. Again, let me know your ranking in the comment section below. I always love seeing your guys' lists. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, make sure to leave a like, share, support as always, and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. And we'll hopefully see you in the next one. Peace out, everybody. I'm good. Woo! <laughs> yes! Oh my god, that was perfect! <laughs> All I can do now is suck him. Suck him! Yeah! Oh shit, I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I can't stop the suck! <laughs> Get away from me! All I can do is suck! I'm sorry! Yo, you, you were health and you, then you weren't.